It's fall here on the mountain farmstead and we got our first hard frost last night. It's time to pull up our root veggies and layer them in bins and put them into cold storage. So I'm going to walk you through and just show you that process today. Most of the garden is taken in. We had some tomato plants we left that got some frost. The cabbages are okay to get frost, but we've got beets under these blankets because beets don't take frost well. So we covered this little bit and we got a long row of carrots and then we've got parsnips over here as well. You can see the frost has really killed things off. The leaves are starting to look dead and wilted and limp. Even the beans got frozen, whatever was left here. And that's all right. That happens every year. It's not a bad thing. But we are going to get busy and pull all these up. Want to be careful of when you're digging your root veggies for cold storage is that they are not blemished. This is kind of cracked and is rotting. That would not last long in storage and it would spoil whatever it touched. So make sure you sort through your veggies and make sure they're all sound and healthy without any sort of blemishes on them. to put your root vegetables in storage you don't want dead kind of decaying bits of stock so before you trim them and put them into storage it's good to go through and pull off any little dead bits and then we're gonna trim off just trim this down to about an inch got our beets we're just gonna layer them in soil in a bin now if you are going for really long-term storage and you had a lot of produce lots of root vegetables you would want to put down a layer of dirt one layer of vegetable without any of the vegetables touching each other another layer of dirt a layer of vegetables carefully placed another layer of soil and so on and so forth but because we don't have a lot of beets here and we will use these up pretty quickly we're going to do one layer of soil, a couple layers of beets, another layer of soil, another layer, couple layers of beets. We're not being as precise or as careful with this batch because we're going to use it up pretty fast. So we are going to go do that right now. Start with a layer of soil, just a light layer. And when you do this, you want to make sure there isn't any decomposing material in your soil. So we've got some tomatoes sitting out there. You wouldn't want to get any of those bits in your soil. Nothing but good plain dirt. And it should be moist enough that when you squeeze it in your hand, it stays in a blob and doesn't just crumble apart. You don't want it too moist though either because that could rot your veggies. So this looks like a good, good, good amount of moisture. is the same story of what we did with the beets. Chop off the greens, leaving about an inch to half inch. 
keep an eye open for a blemish. Bits pull out any decaying stems where they're attached to the plant, which usually isn't an issue with carrots. And put some dirt in the bottom of your bin and load it up. Until we get a root cellar, she'll do. She'll have to. We do have plans for a root cellar here on the mountain farmstead. There's a little hillside just off the kitchen where we want to put our root cellar. However, finances did not pan out for us this year. And so instead, I've taken all my dry good bulk goods and we've moved those into the mudroom in the house. And instead, we are storing our root veggies and our tubers down here. Let me flip the camera around and show you. We are making do wherever, whenever, and however we can. So we've got a bin of parsnips buried in soil here. We've got sacks of potatoes around the room. And these we just keep scrunched down and kind of bundled up. We'll probably tie these off with string later on. You can see I've got a bag of parsnips down here, some more bags of potatoes, and then under the canning shelf where I used to have all my dry goods, we've got veggies preserved in soil, and those are going to keep until we go through them all, I hope. It feels amazing to know that this stuff is pulled up and it's tucked away. And it's true we don't have a lot of produce this year. It was our first year doing a full-size garden on our new piece of land, but we're grateful for every bit we get. So that is how we go about digging up root veggies and putting them in cold storage. And yes, this room does stay quite cold. I know that lighting is really bright, but we've got a window here on this side that we keep open and we will open or close that as temperatures demand. And then on this side, we've got a door separating everything from the freezer room. So this actually, we hope is gonna work for this winter. Normally we would have other things in here, but you meet the demand, right? And so that is how we go about digging and storing root veggies for winter eating. <laughs>